Good evening, guys. Hope you had a wonderful day. I still remain success. I welcome you to another series of midnight prophetic prayers and declarations. Add up your faith as you are going to move mountains. What is that problem you have been facing? What is that problem you are now pulling you down? Have faith and you shall see the Lord. Add up your faith, pray endlessly, and pray expectantly as you are going to be the best. Stay connected and do not forget to subscribe, like, and comment on all our YouTube one here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the holy ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now Please help them. Be free now. Be free now. Help those under the anointing, please. Any family here with the yoke of death on their head, everyone here with the yoke of untimely death, I decree and I declare right now by this kapakos kotobekata by this oil of preservation then i command you pass over their family pass over their destinies pass over their families hear me every demonic mark over your life attracting men welcome attracting to tragedies channel. attracting losses to your life, your business, your ministry, your career, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, by the blood of the Lamb, may that mark be erased forever. Erased forever. Erased forever. Erased forever. Hear me? Everyone here who comes close to prophecy, but never handles it. You see it in your dreams. You are just one step to receiving it. And then something. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit assigned to frustrate you. I stand on this altar. By the blood of the lamb. I decree. Help them please. I command an end to that oppression now. An end to that oppression now. Help those under the anointing, please. There are people here, anything you start does not last. There is no problem in starting. You have done too many things this year alone, but none of them has been sustained. Whether it's business, whether it's ministry, whether it's a relationship, whether it's marriage, nothing you do lasts. I decree and declare. By this oil of preservation on your life, whatever cut short prophecy from your destiny, let it be cancelled now. Cancelled now. Cancelled now. Cancelled now. Every spirit that makes tomorrow worse than yesterday. That means all your achievements and everything that makes you happy is always in yesterday. You see people sit down and they never discuss what God is doing. It is always something that happened. Something that happened. As though tomorrow does not have anything good. I decree and declare. Whatever makes your, moral, your tomorrow to keep diminishing in quality and value. I decree and I prophesy over you. Let that spirit live your destiny now. hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down 
whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cast that spirit now the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever and any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them <laughs> hallelujah i think he was in the I, I i don't i don't i don't watch the news so much but i, I saw something on the news or so about a young boy was it one young boy i think he's in nigeria here that was killed or i think i hope i'm right with that story i don't i really didn't follow the story but i said what sort of a thing is this i'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is anyone who could not get to you and now wants to come through your children whether biological whether adopted or spiritual in the name of jesus christ quarter to shame and disgrace may my god arise and speak for you hallelujah and everybody who has been commanded to come into your life as an answered prayer and the devil is delaying them and yet you are suffering from that delay you are suffering whether business whether relationship whether family whether prophetic connection anybody that should show up in your life and destiny to accelerate prophecy wherever they are I command divine acceleration to you. The wine presser was supposed to talk to the king fast about Joseph. But because of his carelessness, Joseph spent two extra years. It was the delay of the bridegroom 
that punished five other virgins they were all virgins but simply because the, the bridegroom chose to delay that was why their oil finished whatever will cut short your joy and your laughter in the name of jesus especially during this season i prophesy to you by the power of the holy spirit whatever will not make you laugh and rejoice let it go for your sake hallelujah this is not our last service but i just feel stirred to rebuke the spirit of fear and then we're done many people are afraid right now because of the festive season there is no money how will my children eat how will i travel can i speak to you dear family of faith have no fear i want to speak to you there is the prophetic dimension of the supplies of the kingdom if you have never had a christmas celebration or a new year celebration with joy and gladness in the name of jesus may this be one with a difference in your life may god raise men you do not know may god raise systems and structures in the name of jesus christ hallelujah here and there people can have illnesses malaria whatever it is and just take drugs and deal with it but there are people here from beginning of this year till now you have not been free from drugs because as soon as one is finishing another one is starting your leg your head your kidney this one is no longer a medical issue in the name of jesus i agree with you if there is anything in your body now that was sent to kill you that is not just a biological occurrence you think it may just be sickness but it's an arrow sent from hell to ensure that you die in the name of jesus that arrow goes back to the devil In the mighty name. Tells that herald the influence of a man. Listen, honor is a grace. When that grace is not upon you, no matter how noble you are, you will never be honored. Honor is a grace. And when that grace is on you, only God can take it away. It says, and Jabez was more honorable than his, not more prosperous, not more faithful more honorable many people do not know what honor is the fortitude for preference there is an unction from God that fishes you out of the crowd places you in a position where the eyes of men must discern you reward you recognize that which God has invested within you listen to me there are many gifted people the eye that can bless has not seen you there are many men of God the eyes that can discern and lift you is not there let me pray for you there is a grace for honor therefore God even thy God hath anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows I pray for you in the name of Jesus may the mantle that makes for honor territorial honor honor at a national level in the name of Jesus receive that grace now receive that grace now you will be surprised to see the workings of this grace in your life when the grace for honor and favor is upon you you will always be found in the midst of your destiny helpers listen it's a mystery that cannot be explained you will be suspended until they appear then you come listen is a waste to fight battles without reward David said what shall be given to the man that will do this to Goliath sometimes it's a waste to do noble things 
in the face and the presence of people who have no fortitude to discern and to reward i pray for you may the lord position your destiny help us and cause them to love you and to honor you the lord asked me to wear this as a prophetic representation of what he is still doing it is still our year of extraordinary fruitfulness i stand by the god of heaven have the faith to believe don't sit down questioning leave your mind and trust god it is within his power to make great he takes a man from the dunghill overnight and turns his life around i'm praying for you for some of you before this year is over step into a dimension of prepared blessings prepared blessings prepared parushanata i release you into a dimension of prepared blessings listen believers i want you to believe this do not doubt what the power of god can do hallelujah in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the grace that will produce results of wonders in your life may that grace rest upon you now <laughs> prepared blessings that take you to realms 10 years put in one month i release that grace upon you listen these graces are not some canal show of wealth no they are time redemption systems understand what they are they seek to conquer time and give you the convenience and the allowance to serve the purposes of the kingdom in the name of jesus the grace for ease that brings you into supernatural results receive that grace right now receive that grace in the name of jesus i pray for every family represented here the sound of mourning the sound of pain and anguish by the spirit of the living god let it come to an end this night Everything that has refused to work in your life by the power of the highest, I compel it to begin to work now. Men you do not know, may they carry glad tidings about you to the ears of your helpers. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you the presence of God the weightiness the substance of his presence that must rest upon you especially if you are in ministry by the power of the Holy Ghost be a career of divine presence in the name of Jesus everyone here trusting God for a job before this year runs out may God give you a miracle job every family here trusting the Lord for any and every kind of breakthrough we call upon the God of the heavens in the name of Jesus let there be an, a, an abundant supply of that grace hear me whoever ignores you will pay for it hear me any man that fights you goes down instantly let me say it again any man that fights you goes down instantly I pray for every ministry here under the sound of my voice the grace and the wings of the spirit that will take you to dimensions untold may that grace rest upon you 
I pray for every man and every woman of God here. The errands and the horse that will hold your hands. Loyal men indeed. May God give them to you. Anyone here who the testimony over your life is ichabod, I declare by the Spirit of God a restoration happens now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the snare of the fowler, nor the noisome pestilence, nor the destruction that wasted in noonday. Says a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand by your right side. It says none shall hurt you, but with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. I pray for you, as a bird is escaped from the snare of the fowler, may you escape from every evil. May you escape from every trap in the name of Jesus Christ. I speak over your life. Go from glory to glory. You say, speak over your prayer life, over your word study life. Whatever has stolen your joy, whatever has stolen your fire, whatever has stolen your passion, whatever has stolen your focus, in the name of Jesus, by fire, let it be restored tonight. May the gifts of the Holy Ghost operate freely in your life. May you be a wonder first to yourself. And then may you be a wonder to everyone around you. In the name of Jesus. Anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death. To see to it that you will not finish this year well. To see to it that it will not be well with you and your family. Gehazi came and met the woman and said, It's all well. It's all well with your household. I pray for you. Because the Bible says, To say to the righteous, it shall be well. Therefore, I speak over you, it is well. I declare over you, all is well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Doors of delay. I command you. Be open. In the name of Jesus. Delay be gone. Delay be gone. Delay. Delay in marriage. Delay in jobs. I toss it to its root. I release you in the name of Jesus. Every academic bondage. Every academic bondage. Kateka leto sopa. Repete natu sabadi adata. In the name of Jesus. Be free. Be free. Be free. Mental blockage. Be free from it. Academic bondage. I set you free. This is the best exam you would have ever written in your institutions of learning. I prophesy it by the power of the highest. I call this session for you a season of seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold restoration. Seven-fold. Seven-fold. Not one-fold. Not two-fold. I speak it. Where you have been victimized, any student here who has been victimized right now, whether it is project or service here or whatever, I change it in the realm of the spirit. Any one of your loved ones that has no job, I command fearful supernatural job in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every room called Barry. I don't care.
whether the womb has been removed or not right now in nine months time you will celebrate miracle children be open every barren womb be open hallelujah every plague of death over your life or your family members make sure you are lifting your hands up every plague of death by the blood that speaketh better things because I see miscarriages that the devil wants to bring to many families I see miscarriage of children every plague of death I command it to pass over you forever in the name of Jesus he said because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with a type of oil called the oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows the anointing that brings you above I call you in the realm of the spirit rise up in the name of Jesus rise up a new level of prosperity a new level of lifting a new level of wisdom and Jesus grew in wisdom in stature and in favor with God and with men as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives let a cloak of favor hit you where you are favor 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 every terminal disease in this place HIV cancer in the name of Jesus we terminate it once and for all be free in the name of Jesus be free in the name of Jesus SS AS we change your genotype in the realm of the spirit in the name of Jesus every demonic oppression that is responsible for where you are and where your family is tonight it is time for the new anointing cut off your loins and be ready every yoke of bondage surely must be broken I command every captivity over your family by the shed blood of Jesus Christ captivity ends in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus I'm standing in the spirit before a gate and the Lord is telling me let God's people walk through it and move forward in their life I command you by the spirit and according to the vision of the Lord to me move forward go forward no more stagnation in ministry enter your place of anointing enter your place of rest enter it I place you inside it I take you into the mantle of your life the prophetic oil of your life I release it move forward go forward in the name of Jesus Christ and I speak to you every Egyptian you see today 
you are the one who knows the Egyptians. So lift your hands with faith in your spirit. Everything called an Egyptian, as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, once and for all, bye bye to them forever. Bye bye to them forever. In your family, bye bye to them. Bye bye to them. I release signs, wonders. I release miracles. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. From the depth of my heart, according to the order of grace, we take your miracle. Take your miracle. Take your miracle. Everything your hand touches from today. In the name that is above all names, I command it to multiply. This is what I'm demonstrating to you, what I saw in the spirit. That God is connecting you to the people who will take you to the next level of your life. May the Lord take you where your gift will be needed. May the Lord take you where your gift. I command demand upon your oil. Demand. Prophetic demand. I command every uncompleted family project every uncompleted family project the Lord shows me the number 21 in the realm of the spirit and I pray that between now and the next 21 days I command angels of help I release it to your families receive it receive it help help is coming Zion's help the helper of Zion move across families move across families I tell you as surely as the Lord lives between today and the next 21 days you will see fearful testimonies by the hand of God hallelujah lift your hands I impart spiritual gift upon you at the count of seven let fresh fire fall upon everybody every one two three my god do it i see angels four five six there it is come on take it take it take it take it take it outside take it take it take it in the name of jesus take it take it take it fire the prophetic the apostolic the evangelistic teaching mantles pastoral graces leadership entrepreneurship I fire it into your spirit Everywhere you have been deserted so that no man goes through you. I call you an eternal excellency and a joy of many generations. In the name of the Lord Jesus, doors be open. Breakthrough. Breakthrough. 
Many of you don't know what breakthrough is. You just receive it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. I release it. Breakthrough. An angel stands in this row. Take it. Breakthrough. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Right to the back. Take it. Take it. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit I cast every devil I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost my mind my body around my life around Koinonia in the name of Jesus around my family if you are married, also pray for your family. Pray for your children. I cast every devil. ministering to me a mighty deliverance is going to happen now it's starting with ladies any spirit entity that comes in the form of a man and attempts to oppress you in the night right now in the name of jesus christ let the fire from heaven fall right now and command i command that spirit to go help them right now any spirit entity using the face of anyone to molest you and close doors 
inside, outside. I command deliverance now. I command deliverance now. Let the daughters of Jacob possess their possession. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I'm hearing in my spirit uncontrolled anger. It's a spirit. It's living people right now. Uncontrolled anger. It's, a, it's an unusual anger. Rage. It comes you can hear anything and you can do anything. I'm seeing fire in the name of Jesus. Anyone who is a victim of this operation. Right now in the name of Jesus I bring you deliverance. I bring you deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost. Uncontrolled anger. I come against it now. Please help her. Shata skota ba shata liasa. Embraka to sapa roka to shake the balakaya. I'm seeing a vision. And the Lord is asking me to pray on that case. In this vision, I'm seeing someone dream. That's what I'm seeing now. And in that dream, you keep seeing yourself going back either to your old house or to a primary school or writing an exam you are finished. It's a strong spirit of delay. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic place. Help your wife. Shasakatos kaparakata. Right now in the name of Jesus. At the count of three, the spirit of delay. Hear the word of the Lord. Let God's people go now. One, two, three. I command that spirit. Go now. Go now. Please help them. Go now. This one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind. No devil should take you back again. I command that spirit, go now. I cast that spirit now. If there is anyone you know, whether you are here or anyone you know, that for some reason has not been able to take in, in the name of barrenness, whether you are here or you are standing for them, I want you to agree, I want to pray. Let's see the devil that will stop them from taking in. In the name of Jesus, anyone you know and you are standing for, that the devil, I don't care what the medical report is, that the devil has come to make sure that they will not celebrate children. In the name that is above all names, we release children from heaven. In the name of Jesus, we release children from heaven. We open every barren womb. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a group of people. You see, you have dreams frequently. And in the dreams, you see yourself receiving things. And it's something that in the physical, you are hoping to receive. But the moment you see it in that dream, it will never happen again. It's an irony. It's like the opposite of what you see in dreams is what happens. The Lord is asking me to deliver those people now. Please help her. Help her. Just stand near your wife so that she doesn't have to fall. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Shakatos, Embranta, in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare from the realm of the spirit, let there be deliverance for you now. Let there be deliverance for you now. If you have seen this pattern I'm about to describe in your family, then I want you to listen carefully. It's always 
that the future is worse than the past you never have a situation where you leave certain things and go higher and higher you look at all your loved ones they once worked they once married they once had children they once had a house you are in a situation where the future is never brighter than the past it's always once upon a time this was happening i need to crush that devil from your life please help them once upon a time i was rich once upon a time i was married once upon a time i was on fire for god once upon a time i was a pastor i had a church no the part of the trust is as a shining light that shineth ever brighter unto the perfect day when your tomorrow becomes worse than your yesterday there is a spirit reversing the equation lift your hands i want to pray for you in the name that is above all names i declare that any force from hell that is responsible for aborting a glorious tomorrow to take the events of the past and still bring it into your tomorrow right now at the count of three i declare that spirit must let you go one two three let them go now let them go now by the anointing of the holy ghost in the name of jesus christ my spirit is heavy circles of repeated sicknesses i want to pray now it's not a normal thing whether it is hepatitis whether it is a blood related disease or whether it is every month malaria every month malaria every month typhoid you treat it it still comes back every month headache every month whatever it is please the lord is showing me something i just saw like a pile of money and then i saw it disappear and the lord said there are people money physically disappears like lives their life i'm not saying you waste it you can keep ten thousand and come back and find seven thousand and nobody was in that house it's not just money items you can wash clothes and hang it you you didn't steal it you will come back you will not find it listen well this is a, a deliverance city just allow me to help that lady i'm seeing a lady in a vision now you were alone you washed your underwear in the night by the next day you didn't find two of them again it's gone from that day something happened in your life in a strange way severe menstrual pain is one of the things you started having uncontrollable pain uncontrollable pain in the name of jesus everything the devil has taken from anyone i decree and declare by the anointing of the spirit let there be restoration now let there be restoration now let there be restoration now the lord is showing me someone Every time you see someone die in the dream, a few weeks later it will happen physically. Now you have seen your loved ones. You saw them last week. You saw like a, somebody was announcing to you that I don't know if it's your mother or something that died. If we don't pray for you, it's going to happen. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare, all death, where is thy sting? All grave, where is thy victory? I prophesy right now upon your life. Malakata, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I command that death to pass over your family. I command that death to pass over your family. Hallelujah. Just, just let me just talk about two issues. I'm struggling to share what God is showing me now. 
this has to do with a group of ladies listen there is a lady here every time you see yourself in a dream you are a man not a woman that's why i'm struggling to share what i'm saying physically you are a lady but every time you see yourself in a dream it's like you are carrying the form of a man this thing has affected you even in the area of relationship if a guy looks at you and says i love you it's like it's like um it's, it's like you feel as if you are gay it's, it's like something has numbed the capacity to receive love as a lady because of that encounter it's a demonic thing that i have to pray for you for a very demonic thing i'm seeing like smoke this is strange and then it is it's just like moving around in the air wherever those groups of people are i don't believe it's just one person it's an operation of darkness in the name of jesus i stretch my hands right now and i decree and declare by the power of the holy ghost be free from that demonic siege now be free from that demonic siege now ah, hold on there is a lady a physical person appeared to you not a dream i'm not talking of your dreaming physically physical like you are seeing me like this appeared to you and was having a conversation with you appeared to you and was having a conversation with you and from that conversation your life was never the same again it looked like it was a woman that was appearing and talking to you like revealing to you some secrets that had to do with the past and from that day you started hearing voices even in the afternoon you can sit down and hear like people are discussing i need to pray for you if i don't pray for you very soon they will admit you in the hospital because they'll say you are talking and behaving like somebody who has a psychosomatic condition wherever that person is in the name of jesus i may not call you out because of time but i declare right now by the anointing of the holy spirit that devil that spirit in the name of jesus be free from it now if you know in this place that you find out that certain sicknesses never leave you they keep repeating cycles just place your hand on your chest i'm about to pray it doesn't matter what part of your body and what sickness you just place your hand on your chest i'm going to pray someone will shout under the anointing when that happens the anointing for this healing is not a sickness it's a pattern that god is breaking now the moment that shout happens i will rebuke that the power of god is looking for one person there's somebody that will shout that's the shout right now in the name of jesus by the anointing of the holy spirit every pattern of reoccurring infirmity reoccurring sickness whether it's a blood related disease every pattern i say it again of reoccurring sickness reoccurring disease right now by the power of the holy ghost i command the spirit responsible lose your hold now 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 hallelujah in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit my god i'm seeing a sword right now i declare every hold of darkness even in this series help them jesus look at what is happening there in the name of jesus you know my voice 
I was once your victim, but tonight has come as one who has been given the keys of David by the message of God. I declare right now, in the name of Jesus, everyone here under the sound of my voice who is under any kind of siege, right now be free in the name of Jesus. 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 Every family under any kind of siege that is mocking your Christian integrity and making God's word look like a lie. Shabaka toka sata. Embreke toka shabala kata. Reke toka tosh. Shabas kata shaka. Rakato shabariata kata. In the name of Jesus. Fire. I'm seeing fire. That's what I'm seeing from heaven. Shabako to skabariata kata. Man takoto shegetegete. I'm praying for you in the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I cast the plague of witchcraft. I cast the plague of witchcraft. In the name of Jesus. voice speaking against everyone's destiny the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against us the bible says he nailed it to the cross i declare and i decree by the substitutionary sacrifice of the eternal begotten of the father i cause every power that is not of god in the name of jesus christ I reverse any ordinance in the spirit over every individual, over every family. I command a reversal now in the name of Jesus. And the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. Let me pray for you. Everything that must enter your hand, mashabakatos, lekatekatas, the open doors that the blood of Christ release. Help them, please. Everything you have seen in the realm of the spirit, God has shown you dreams that you are a possessor. God has shown you dreams. Your children, your breakthrough, your lifting, your speed, your job, your marriage. In the name of Jesus, I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. I release it to your hands now. Become a possessor. And I pray for you. The Bible says when you catch a thief, he won't just restore what he stole because he has wasted your time by stealing. Can I speak restoration? Let me tell you. There are many of us you have lost things. Some you have lost time. Masha Makata. Leko Toskabata. Joshua said, Son, go back. Move. Go back. I prophesy to you. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I prophesy as one sent. In the name that is above all names. Everything the devil took away from you. I command a restoration now. I command a restoration now. Whatever you have lost in time, I speak to you. Between today and Friday coming, I pray that someone will have the faith to believe this prayer. May my God, the God of Jeshurun, arise and surprise you. Arise and surprise you. We call him Ebenezer, the helper of Israel. I declare, oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the next two minutes, I'd like you to receive things in the spirit. The things that the Bible said, please don't take casual this opportunity. We are operating under an anointing. I'd like you to declare 
receive by faith in the name of Jesus. Receive mantles, receive anointings, receive open doors, receive favors, receive ble blessings, receive graces in the name of Jesus. Receive ease. Your joy may be fulfilled. Hallelujah. I'd like you to take these remaining two minutes seriously. You are going to make decrees. You are not talking to God. You are talking to your destiny. You are talking to your life. Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and make the keys. Lift up your heads. Oh, ye gates. Shake my cross. Shaparantas. Lift up your heads. I command close doors. Be open. In the name of Jesus. I hold the keys of heavy. And I command the doors open. That no man will shut. I decree and declare my path is as a shining light. It shines brighter. It shines brighter unto the perfect day. I decree and declare I shall not die. I live. I choose life. I choose life. I retain death. Not by accident. Not by the sword. That is a with favor like a shield. That is a with favor like a shield. In the name of Jesus. We believe you are mightily blessed through this message. If you have not given your life to Christ, please say this prayer. Lord Jesus, have mercy on me. I know I have sinned against you. Forgive me all my sins and cleanse me from all unrighteousness and make me your own beloved child. From Jesus' name, we pray. Amen.